The Tundu South MP Moses Kuria is tonight accusing maize farmers in the North Rift region of blackmailing President Uhuru Kenyatta by demanding higher prices for maize. The controversial lawmaker claims that the 2,300 shilling price for a 90 kilogram bag of maize is set by the cabinet this week was more than enough, despite farmers in the region known as the country's breadbasket demanding a minimum of 3,600 shillings per bag. And as Francis Gashuri reports, politics of maize have erupted once again. That maize is the country's staple food is not in doubt. The commodity is priced directly translating into either higher or lower cost of ugali and ultimately the cost of living. A decision by the cabinet this week to set the buying price for a 90 kilograms bag of maize at 2,300 shillings sparking anger among farmers in the North Rift. <laughs> The rejection of the prize by farmers, now seen as political, President Uhuru Kenyatta's member of parliament Moses Kuria accusing the North Rift maize farming community of blackmailing the government. <laughs> At the center of the row is the cost of producing maize. According to the Agriculture Ministry, it costs between 1,500 shillings and 1,800 shillings to produce one 90-kilogram bag of maize, a position that was adopted by the cabinet when it said the commodity is buying price at 2,300 shillings, but farmers will hear none of it. The cost of production for 90 kilos is 27.10. How can you go at a loss of 410? You better stay without because it is very embarrassing. We will go to the pole Germany to see Kizane. You know what to go to the pole of Kitoyo, Hakuna Kitoyo, Pila Ugali, Hakuna Ugali, Pila Kitoyo. I'm a Ramagani, what to a Katul. Eh, like in the Vitijo, Nini, Nini. The maize price row erupting weeks after President Uhuru Kenyatta was forced to intervene when farmers put his government to task over delayed payment for the maize they supplied to National Cereals and Produce Board last year. In the scam, crafty traders and well-connected brokers pocketed millions of shillings as small-scale farmers lamented. They should not sell they are maize. Let's wait for the, His Excellency the President to intervene and take charge. He's the head of states and government. Ukienda hata kilifi ni chakula cha ugali. Wewe unapochukua hiyo chakula. And the dangerous thing any leader should accept is to create instability in the country through shortages of food. Maize prices in Uganda and Tanzania ranging at between 1,000 and 1,200 shillings per bag. In setting the 2,300 shillings price, the cabinet was reportedly wary of traders who would take advantage of the readily available market at NCPB and flood the market. But some Rifty Valley members of parliament critical of Deputy President William Ruto claim he had done little to save the maize farmers in his political backyard. So we are telling Deputy President, come out clearly when it comes to the challenges of farmers. Don't, around, don't look for a scapegoat of an alternative cropping and introduce the issue of uh, avocado. She does it to mingi, ya maindi, ya fertilizer, na hii mambo yote imeletwa na mwishimiwa na hibu rais na ofisi yake. Tunataka ofisi yake ichunguzwe. Mambo ya uh, mahindi tusiingize siyasa duni ya mashindano. Hii ni maisha ya wananchi na lazima tuwaambie ukweli ya kwamba kuna vile lazima tuendelee kufanya mambo ya kilimo lakini kwa njia ya kujitafutia riziki. With the maize prices row deepening, the cost of putting ugali on the table is likely to rise. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Weekender.